good morning uh, happy new year uh, happy new year to you how Thank have you, you been much. i've been very good doing well yeah, everything, so how, how everything spend, is okay okay how do you spend your new year i just spend the new year like any other day i do not say, i didn't celebrate i just the uh, 31st december passed like any other day that's great that's great so um did you have a chance to look at the session notes this document is not found no no i don't get any documents now yeah so because you have been with clappingo for a really long so yes, yes. that's probably why you have been with clappingo for almost 300 sessions and we have met before as well so how many so how is it helping you now so what do you want from it further now i just want to practice actually because uh, if i stop practicing i won't be able to continue because i don't have anybody to practice with here yeah. in my place yeah. so this is the only thing that i am doing and at the same time i am learning also right practicing, learning going together okay great that's great so i will be helping you with that today then we'll be doing some i have uh, do you have you ever done the topic of if you own the petrol pump if i own the petrol pump maybe long back i don't remember okay so let's do that today to practice okay right so um i'll be asking you questions and you just <clears throat> can respond respond with whatever you think is right yeah so mm -hmm. how would you okay so if you own the petrol pump how would your life be different from your life right now i think uh, there will be much difference because uh, right now i am doing a job in a government office so i am earning salary monthly but if i own a petrol pump as we all know that petrols are in high demand so if i own then the income will be more this is the one thing and since i will be in uh, i'll be doing a business so right now what i am doing i am doing a job so there is a fixed time that 9 to 5 job i am doing but while doing uh, owning a business so it will not be like that so i won't have a fixed time i'll be busy almost uh, 12 to 14 hours i think if i own a petrol yeah. pump so and at the same time i'll have to keep relation with the office sales of this uh, a petrol ministry or something because if something comes up i have to settle uh, that one with the officials so the, i have to keep a good relation with those officials also the, so. yeah and the people that uh, would come to my uh, petrol pump so i would uh, instruct the employees of my petrol pump to behave with them very uh, dearly so that uh, nobody gets offended and if somebody gets offended they would not come to my petrol pump again so that will be my loss and i have to take care of that things also so these are the things that i think there will right. be in this in my life okay great so <clears throat> if you my voice is really <clears throat> sorry i'm not feeling too well so if you did own a petrol bank you already told me you know that your like the next question is what would your daily routine be but you already told me you know you'll be working continuously there won't be any fixed hours etc so mm. what kind of amenities would your petrol pump have yeah so amenities uh, like that for those they would come to uh, fill their uh, car with fuel so mm. the first thing will be the space there should be enough space space in the petrol pump so that who right. come to my petrol pump there or be at any difficulty position they can fill up uh, the petrol their tank easily that is the one thing yeah. other amenities that uh, like uh, this uh, toilets etc drinking water so if somebody in need of uh, that somebody may feel the urge of going to toilet so that would be there and drinking water also so some if somebody feel thirsty so they can have water from that and other thing that uh, fasted box will also be there 
if something happen unfortunate things happen so immediately we can come to help with that aid box and fire extinguisher is the main thing one should have in a petrol pump these are the yeah. main basic things that i we should ha- i should have in my petrol pump yeah that's true so that's great now um how do you maintain safety standards so one thing you said was fire extinguisher what else uh safety thing is that uh, first of all i would uh, instruct the employees in uh, there should be strict instructions that how to uh, when they will fill up uh, the tank of any customer when who they come to fill up so it they should uh, make sure that nobody is lighting any cigarette in that place nobody is using uh, this uh, mobile phone while Uh, they are filling up their tank these are the main thing i think because uh, at uh, suppose any um, once uh, a fire uh, is there in a petrol pump so it will be very difficult to extinguish because there will not be any other help that you can even the fire uh, brigade also will not be able to douse the flames if it happens yeah. in a petrol pump right But, so it will be more of a preventive measures so that it does not the petrol pump doesn't caught fire catch fire more of a preventive measure it will be it will help actually yeah so that's true that's great so okay before we continue i want to give you a couple of suggestions right so i want to see if you're able to incorporate these suggestions when we talking further so you said in one part you said you know doing job so mm-hmm. you said working in a job not doing job see i understand why people would think it's doing job but doing job is not very accurate you can say working in a job okay okay so and there's another thing that i'm observing when you're speaking is you're not ending your sentences at all so you're talking this your points mm-hmm. are great you're talking very well like these kind of points so i also can't think of only like these are very good points but you need to be able to end your sentences so you are starting you're saying firing sentence since this then this so you're connecting the sentences and the sentences never ending so i am able to listen to you because i am captured by your points but if people can't understand you they yeah. won't you won't be able to keep their attention mm-hmm. which is important yes, right yes. Yeah. so yeah. try best in the future when you're talking to make sure that you're talking in concise sentences mm mm-hmm. mm right yes. yeah. so then the next thing so the thing is it's like in concise sentence in the shortest sentence you should be able to deliver the most you should not have to talk so much to deliver one point in the smaller it is the better it is right so yeah yeah th- that's one thing then uh, there's use for some pronunciation that i want to talk about is the word busy you're saying busy yeah okay so yeah. try the word s because then see again i can because i am a trained teacher and i can i can figure out the mistake some people won't even understand they'll like what word what is he talking mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. right so make sure that you know that you distinguish between that right and a thing is you said keep relations, office sales keep relations so it's keeping a relationship a relation yes, yes. cannot be used in a sentence like this so i'm keeping a relation with the people in the office yes so yes. try to make sure that you are you know making the sentences move that way right so um that's the suggestions i had for now we can continue so would you like to expand to more petrol pumps or pumps or just enjoy with having one it depends on uh, the uh, that how much time i would need uh, to run uh, petrol pumps more than one if yeah. i feel that one petrol pump is enough for me mm-hmm. running is enough and i have more time to spend mm-hmm. after that to give my family and right. to enjoy the other things for myself then i will not go for any other petrol pump so right. i will be busy doing uh, these things in one okay, petrol pump okay i'm going to interrupt you for a second so you just said if i am content with whatever i have in life full stop then you just but instead of full stop you say things so then i will do this so end the sentence and then start 
Okay. Okay. Try to end the sentences. Continue. So this is what that uh, it depends on. Uh, okay. If I am happy with the uh, earning, and if I see that uh, the that the earning is enough for me, so I will be happy with one petrol pump. I am not going to expand that one. Right. Okay, that's great. So um, then, suppose the main highway or the road that your petrol pump was situated. Mm -hmm. At becomes a secondary route because the government built a better substitute way to travel across, and your business starts to decline. Do you want me to repeat that? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I got it. Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. what will you do? How will you manage this? Then uh, I'll have to. They can. In that case, I'll have to look for another location. Right. If my business is ham uh, hampering, so definitely I will look for another location where I can set up I another. Is it okay if I interrupt you and give you suggestions instead of no, no, it's all, no, no, no. It's welcome anytime. Yeah. So again, hampering is you can't say my business is hampering. You think you say if the government is hampering my business, so hampering is something that somebody does to somebody else. So mm -hmm. my business is not hampering. The change of the route or the government is hampering with my business. Okay, so I can say this like uh, if my business is. Being hampered by the government being decision. Hampered. Yes, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Right. You got that. Right. Continue. Yes, so you said you're going to change it. Yeah, definitely because uh, my earning has declined. So I, I am not, I won't be able to uh, do what I was uh, doing before that one. So definitely I'll have to look for another one. Or if not that one, then for another business also. Right. Okay. So um, now I'm going to ask you one last question. So you, man you manage the situation now, but then you realize that things are shifting towards electric cars and now your business does not have a better future. Mm -hmm. so what would you do? Then I'll have to think because uh, when I am in a business, I will always have to think uh, what is going to happen in the next 10 years. That will always be in my, in, in my mind. Because uh, as you rightly said, now uh, electrics are coming. So demands for petrol will go down. Keeping that mind, I'll have to shift my business from petrol to this uh, electric uh, stations. What it is called? Electric station or what? What it is called? Yeah, the place where you charge the electric cars. Uh, right. So that's great. That's great. So I just... So again, the main thing that I wanted to say to you is that you need to end your sentences, right? Because it is a little bit difficult for that. So I would just like to ask you, what do other tutors give you feedback for? It depends on the tutors. Somebody say, uh, yes, your grammar is okay like this. <laughs> and there is some uh, issues with pronunciations like that. Yeah. Okay. So that is true. That is true. Your pronunciation is really okay. It's just that some words that we need to work on, which is fine. So um, other than that, for me, it's just mainly the sentence form structure, right? That's the most important. But after a point, so you are pretty good at your English. You're not having that problems of grammar. You're not having, like you're not having the fundamental problems of English, right? So now you're a more proficient speaker. So okay. So point, now I would like to ask you how to... Uh work on this what i'll have to do so because it's something very specific to you you need to be the first thing is to become aware of it you need to realize that you're doing this okay right mm -hmm. that's the first thing is the awareness mm -hmm. after that only you can move on from this okay so um you figure out what it's why it's happening and once that you need to analyze it you need to say okay this sentence is this long where can i break it Okay. Right? So that's how it's gonna work. So, um, that is no, for this. Uh, for this, uh, I love to practice. Um, I mean, with my myself only, so like before yes. mirror or like this. With yourself itself. See, with us also, you can practice. That that will work. That's fine. But we are going to keep pointing out the same thing. So, if you practice by yourself, it's more important because then you can by yourself point out your mistakes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So that's what I want you to do. So if I do get to see you in the next session, then we will work on this again. We'll see if 
you've practiced a little bit more or not yeah yeah i would like to come back but the thing is that uh, your session in the evening you don't take any class is not it the thing is because i'm in college right that my time is huh. all over the place okay. so whenever i can i quickly open my working hours but i don't get like sometimes i only get to do clapping or like once a week because i have a lot of work to do yeah that is what actually uh, evening is my convenient time so okay, now so you I can see me that i am getting ready for my office but still right. I, i i just wanted to have a session okay right so we'll try and work on that i'll try and see if i'm able to okay uh, open something in the evening so i'll see you then okay. yeah okay yeah. thank you so much for coming have a great day thank you thank you have bye a bye. nice day bye